So I think it's important to align to your organisation's mission and vision because generally it will be the business that you'll, you'll be asking for support from. So it's important that you can frame proposals, collaborations in a way that is attractive to the business, that the business understands and that it can support. I think in addition to that, it's also helpful for the archive to have a clear vision itself as to what it wants to achieve. So using your organisation's vision will give you a framework to focus on. I think that can be very useful. With a big company, I think it's quite easy to keep on top of what the goals and the strategy and the vision of the organisation are because it will be widely published both externally and internally and they will want you to know what that is. I think in addition to that, what's also been useful is just to keep watch for trends or for different ways that the company is choosing to describe itself. So recently we've seen a real interest from BT in its role as of national significance. So how has it helped to support the nation? And that's something that again we can support quite easily because our records are um, have a lot about workforce, workforce development, um, national infrastructure in terms of communication. So that's something that we've started to try and look at with our proposals. And that's been very useful to us because it gives us some fresh ideas and it again gives us a framework to, um, to pin some proposals on. There's no point in undertaking any research if nobody is going to use it. It's really important to understand the business agenda and to fit it into your department's strategy. It's also important to talk to the people who are going to benefit from that and use them as advocates to take it to the wider business and also, of course, to your line management. But it also means that we can look at subjects which are really key to the development of business knowledge. And knowledge is something which we can never have too much of. Using academic collaboration means that business can help shape the agenda of the research ensure its relevance and its usability. For our first major research project, we decided to choose an issue which was high on the agenda for the business. We looked at uh, the issue around pay and pay for performance. It's something which, as an archivist, I know we have a lot of records about held in the archive, but we haven't got the time or the resources to use them and to develop the arguments which could help inform the decisions that we have to make today. We needed to know from them what they really wanted and how useful it would be. Then we used those people as advocates to en encourage um, our line management to make sure that he was happy for us to carry on and do that type of work. So we have this, this group of people we call the Heritage Board. They are senior leaders from across the business and they sort of help us to get into places that we need help with or we can talk to them about what we're doing so they can share with their own areas. So one of these is a senior leader in the communications department and she's head of the global brand team who come up with all of the kind of the company strategies where we want to go, how they want to brand this. So we had a meeting with her a few months ago now uh, in the run up to launching our internal heritage website. So one of the functions of this website is to share with the community in general but specifically we have this section called themes which allows us to group records together so we needed to know what the company wanted these themes to be so we met with her to see what they were and so we have a list of I think it's about six or so that we're putting together that that's what the company is wanting now so this is what we've done in our past that anyone can use anyone can use those to link into the present. Our communications team is quite large, so finding the one person that does the thing that you want them to do can sometimes be quite difficult. So because we've been working with them, we've been able to work out who does what and who to go to if we have questions. So if we come across something cool and say, hey, we think this would look good on Twitter, we know exactly who to go to. So it's been acknowledgement of the right people, so getting to know other people in the business. But then similarly, because they now know we exist, they now come to us and say, have you got something for and because they're promoting us, because they're using us internally and externally, we're getting, we're filtering out there so people know we exist and people are able to find us and come back to us. The academic appraisal was helpful as a starting point because we were thinking about getting going, but it was a catalyst for us to really give us the momentum to start creating some 
collaborations and it was very successful because we, we started a few um, collaborations soon after and we were lucky enough um, to have a huge funded project in collaboration with Coventry University which was a million pound project to digitise um, a large number of photographs um, all of our research reports which have been registered on the UNESCO Memory of the World Register, so very rich collection. We would never have received that funding had it not been for working in collaboration with an academic partner. And the benefits of that were huge and I think in addition to the benefits of the collaboration itself, the legacy of that and the fact that we have a huge digitised collection has, has been very beneficial in lots of ways. For me, I think the thing that really worked and has that long-term impact is the way that you made us think differently about how we approach the exhibition. I think we'd done one previously and it was very predictable, it was very corporate, mm. it, was, um, it was just telling us a, a kind of linear story about what the actions, activities had been, mm -hmm. whereas you challenged us to put the focus on something else, to look at the experience of women rather than what the brand had done. Mm. And that was really exciting way for us to look at it. And we have tried to continue with that. So to be more mindful of um, how people might interact with it, to mm. be less um, conscious that we need to stick to the corporate line all the time. Okay. And to um, maybe see the objects in a different way.